Hi, I'm Chef David Bianchi, and today I want to show you how we can cut or chop different types of fresh herbs and also to apply the French cut chiffonet. And remember, if you have the option, like in balcony, and if of course, if you have the climate, you can have your own fresh herbs all the time, all year long uh, around, and um, even like sometimes up for like two, three years, depends what kind of herb. And even like chilies, for example, I have all my own stuff uh, growing always fresh and organic, of course. Here, for example, I have different types of uh, basil, purple basil, and uh, just like Latin green basil. Uh, fresh majorum, we have chili types, epasote, green and red epasote. I have also mint, peppermint, and uh, just like uh, uh, chamomile. Here is, for example, a little bit of celery, fresh celery, of course, tomatoes, garlic, uh, shallots, and uh, also tarragon. Like I said, you can have all your fresh herbs just in flower pots, which is actually a great option. And if you have the option and you have a piece of land, then of course I recommend have always your fresh herbs planted. Um, of course, it always depends what climate and what season, but there's always an option usually we can have something planted. You know, a nice way to have some plants, herbs too, of course, is um, just using small flower pots or, or also like plastic cases or boxes or big flower pots. You can have lots of your own green items and you can move them around, moving with the light if you just have don't have enough and in that case for example you have letters you have tomatoes cucumbers dill um, tomatoes green tomatoes red tomatoes basil chive lots of different things you can just have simple like i do but let's go back to the kitchen so back from the garden here's what we harvest a few of uh, my herbs i have here a few types of epasote parsley fennel dill rosemary uh, red basil, green basil, uh, chive, some a uh, little bit of peppermint, uh, majorum, and tarragon, and some others. Remember, you also can always eat the flowers, which are delicious. For example, the flowers of the garlic, beautiful for decoration. The same here, the other flowers would actually taste like horseradish. And here, for example, the basil, you can see they also have beautiful small white flowers, and the purple basil has like red flowers, which almost look like little orchid flowers. So we can also use them. They have a very intense flavor too. And well, that's just like uh, what I can grow here with my climate. And uh, they are, of course, all different, different flavors. And of course, they all have different uses. Some of the herbs, we don't even add, for example, chopped or into our stews or dishes because it's just too strong. For example, like the rosemary or the Mexican um, uh, let's say pasote. Usually we add it, use it to add flavors to it, but then after we take it out. Some herbs we have to chop and uh, because of their texture and some herbs we have to cut. For example, the chive, or if we're talking about the garlic herb, then that case we want the one don't want to chop it. We want to apply a cutting technique, which I will show you right away. So what do we need to cut our herbs? First of all, have a cutting board and have it stable, put a moist towel below so it doesn't move around. Now, when we cut the herbs fresh, I recommend probably with scissors, they're uh, pretty helpful and it doesn't damage the plant too much. Another thing we need to have either a chef knife or let's say a, 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 well, a large knife for chopping. The best way of chopping in that case would be holding your hand light on the tip and then you can just move it around like that basically from the front just up and down you don't have to put much pressure to it just leave it very light always get your herbs together with an angle so it won't take the sharp of your knife away and start chopping again that's like one way if we want to cut the herb like a chiffonet cut we get different leaves together i will show it in a few seconds we get them together and now we hold them, we hold our hand and we can roll them and then we just cut them in stripes by leaving the front part on a knife and just going back. You can hold your hand like that on the grip like I have showed in other videos and then we just go and cut it very thin and it comes out as slices. We also can lift up the knife which is not as safe. No, the best way is like pushing or pulling like when we cut. No? Like pushing would be like pushing to the front and then cutting like this pulling would be like this way to the back pull to no so that would be the first options other option would be for example also if we think a swing knife they're pretty 
nice because they have two blades now and then basically we do the same thing as in the first technique we just swing the knife and we go back and forth until we get the texture and the fineness we need to have on our product Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it or that it was helpful. I will also upload a little bit of information in text below the message. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, I will upload very soon lots of more videos. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'm Chef David Janke. See you soon.